Dear Ann Landers, my husband Dear and I are in shock. I'm extremely Dear upset. Ann my son got married in Dear Ann Landers, we were very happy to hear that his wife is working out with me. She thinks she's way too She had to get married. Dear Pod. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's bring up Cindy Lauper. Did you watch that documentary? Have yeah. we ever talked about that? I don't think so. But that yes, like it Bob did. Dylan looks like he wants to be anywhere but there. I've never seen a human look as uncomfortable as Bob Dylan in the That's We Are the like, World documentary. Uh, um, we've we've hidden all the bathrooms, and he just had like a two big gulps. He's and like, his oh, eyes are just darting around like this is a choice we're making. It's like they literally because they did it after the Grammys, so the they American started Music Awards. or yeah, one of the awards that they were like. Let's start recording a 30-person song with all celebs who are all fussy. We're going to start at 2 a.m., and um, we're going to bring the people who don't belong in it, which is Bob Dylan. Correct. And they had the choice between Cyndi Lauper and Madonna, and they went with Cyndi Lauper. Oh, they had a choice? They couldn't have both of them? No. Why? I don't know. I didn't work there. Did they not want to be in the same room together at the same time? Is there a backstory there? I don't know, but Kim Carnes was chosen, and she sounds <laughs> like a coffee grinder. <laughs> that is the... Kim, can we do that again? So Kim Carnes and uh, Bob Dylan, yeah, uh, Bruce Springsteen, all these like Juilliard trained vocalists. Uh huh. Can you imagine the engineering of that? They're like, can we try it one more time? But can you not have that? Uh, cigar put out in the back yeah, of your could throat Could you stop this eating the cigarettes, Kim, for like two <laughs> minutes? We just need to get one line from you. It also feels like they pulled up to the American Music Awards with like a white van. Get in! <laughs> <laughs> and then whoever comes out the side door, they're like, just grab, is that Bob Dylan? Just grab him. That's an usher. Just, just, it's just fine. grab him. That's fine. We need more bodies. It's good. Lionel will work it out in post, okay? <laughs> Lionel Richie did not plan that. I... I don't think that they, I mean, I think they planned it, but I don't think they planned it I don't it think they well. knew how it was going to shake down. Like, like isn't it, it Kenny Rogers? Yes. And, uh, Kenny Loggins. Any Kenny. Uh, LaToya Jackson. This oh, is where yeah. they're like, fuck, I thought we pulled Janet Jackson. Who's that? <laughs> That's, That's the sister. Jan- <laughs> they just like LaToya. took a net. Who's and they- LaToya? It's fine. It's fine. It's a Jackson. It's a Jackson. Get her. We'll get take her. it. Can we get Michael? We can get Michael if Latoya comes. It's like a brother sister thing. Like I'll do it if he does it. You know, grab any. I think I was in We Are the World. I think so. That would Next make to Cindy Lauper. Ah, oh, Cindy Lauper. What's she been up is to? Is that coffee in your? No, it is not. Mm. Let me tell you something. I made a coffee today that was so unintentionally concentrated. I think I can skywrite. What brand is it? And that? shit my pants at the same time. Um. What are we? Oh, well, when we went to Hawaii, I brought back um, a shit ton of coffee. Why? Because it's it's like, it like concentrate. The... It's a Kona coffee. Oh, it's only five hundred dollars a pound. Great. So you know we have a little bit of Maui coffee left. Okay. And I I don't know what I did. It's lava. It's molten lava. Yes, okay. the floor is lava. Great. And I I don't know. I don't change the ratios. I just keep doing the same thing. But for some reason, this was like leaded. Well, don't you have to change the ratio if it's like cold brew? So then you're not like skyrocketing. Cold brew? I don't understand how cold brew is legal. I don't understand it, period. I also don't understand why we need that much power. Well, it's like nitro brew. So there's there's iced coffee, cold brew, the nitro brew. Yeah. Which means you can kill a family of seven in five <laughs> and shit your pants right? at the same time. Yeah. You're like, wow, I feel like I got a movement. I've done. never seen such a thorough murder scene, it's and so tidy. I know, and so quick. Like, so he just went in, he killed all seven, and he was out, and he was at work by nine. And isn't that what cold brew should be about? And I really appreciate the fact that he redid the furniture layout here. It's, it's much so better. nice. Yeah, who knew? I mean, it's blood stained, but still fabulous. Anyway. We are amping ourselves up to sit down all day. Do you realize that? Yes. Everybody who's standing in front of you at all the specialty coffee places is like, hook it to my veins, and I'll have, who was the girl in front of me ordered like a triple Americano or something, or like Americano with another shot, which is, I think, five shots of espresso. Where are you going that you need that much power? Unless you are a, a weightlifter 
or or like in charge of pushing a bullet train. <laughs> I, I don't understand why you need. She's like, I, I got to go to LaGuardia. I got to go push the planes down the runway after this. Give me an Americano with two extra shots in it. It's like those the old timey uh, uh, on the railroad. Oh, yeah. push. <laughs> those were the guys that needed it. Right. But I don't understand. Like, where are you going unless you have an overnight shift? Um yeah, but it's are... 9 a.m. I'm watching people get this stuff. Okay, then I don't understand that. Nobody understands it. We don't need this power. Every time I go to Berryville, New York, oh, and I order an iced coffee, no matter where it is in the town, uh-huh. I have approximately 35 to 37 seconds before everything clears out of my body. That's amazing. What's happening in Berryville? I don't know. You're losing your berries. So at one point, did I stop me if I, you've heard this one? I wouldn't dare. So I went to this coffee place that is at the lower level of the Stick It In in Berryville. Wait, which is that's not... The name of it. A hotel? Yes. Stick It In. Yes, and in the back, it's called Stick It In The Rear. Shut up. Correct. Who are these people and why do I not know them? The two homosexuals that own the bed and breakfast, along with the gas station and Mexican Which restaurant. Just pump it up. No, just call the Oasis. Pump me full. So oh, it's kind of like a letdown. That's a missed opportunity. Right. We want them on the podcast. Just saying. We'll see. Okay. So anyway, so um, uh, I order coffee. Okay. Set the scene. I uh, get it. I eye that the bathroom is under construction and. Cannot. Oh, this is a bad. I'm like, well, that's fine. Are there other places around this? Not... Or is it like just sort of freestanding and I don't know what this town is. It's freestanding. There's not a lot around. So I uh, get in my car mm-hmm. and I put it in drive. And that's, it's not like you're not, I've said this before, like the foghorn in the distance. The call is coming right now. Okay. There it's is no from fog. There is no the warning. It's like uh, having sex with no lube. It's like, wow, oh, that hurts. No one told me that Correct. was coming. I okay. didn't know. I just rang the doorbell and all of a sudden you're inside. <laughs> so I turned to Marcus and I said, I need to go to the bathroom. And he said, okay, why don't you go inside? I said, because the bathroom's broken. But I need to go like right now. Like, Do you think right that that's now. a fake sign because they, they have issues with this very know. thing? And they're like, we have got to put up a sign because the amount of people that are just shitting in our establishment. I don't know. Maybe there's a septic issue. I don't know. So I look at uh, the stick it in. I'm like, I'm going to have to go see. If, I'm going to have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so I scamper up the stairs. But I'm also trying to not separate my legs too much because I don't want yes. anything to come out. You're doing the shimmy. So I open up the door and I walk into like like a fun house. Like there's just like, I open up a door and then there's more doors. I'm like, what the fuck? You're in the Winchester I'm like, am house. I, am I at Home Depot? Why am I in the door section? So I'm like, is there a, uh, I'm going to shit in your there, foyer. If you a, don't. Is there a lobby? Is there a desk or something? So then I like walk up the stairs and this woman's like, hi, can I help you? I'm like, hi. Yes. Um, uh, full disclosure. Is there a lobby here or is there a front desk? No, we don't really have a front desk here. I'm like, you don't have a front desk? Like, my gay brain went to like, what do you mean you don't have a front desk? Now you're designing. Like, no, not no. time for architecture. You <laughs> have an issue. Right. I said, do you have a, a is, there, is there a restroom that I can use? I just went to your coffee shop down there, and I need to go to the bathroom. Can I ask mm. you a question? Are you talking this calmly? Uh, to her? Are you doing one of these things like, hey, mm. no. <laughs> no. I just, um. <laughs> Just it, a quick question. Do, do you casually have a bathroom? I'll get to that, okay. Aaron. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I wanted to not look like I was a crazy person. I'm either going to rape or murder this woman. Okay. But I was about to rape or murder this woman. <laughs> and, um, and I looked, I said... Um, uh, you don't have a bathroom? And she's like, no, we don't. It's just for guests only. I said, well, uh, are you sure? I'm like, well, where, where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> she's like, they leave me a bucket behind the front desk. <laughs> and she's like, um, it, it's just really just for whatever. I said, um, uh, okay, okay. I said, but the, your establishment down there, their bathroom's broken. I just had whatever is in their coffee. And um, I'm sorry, but... I don't mean to be too graphic, but I'm going to have an accident 
in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> I came I to the stick it in because it's pushing and out. she said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she looked at me and she's like, I'm really sorry. And I looked at her with big bug eyes like, are you, are you serious? And she said, yeah, I'm really sorry. And like, I might have an accident on these steps. Because I'm, I'm having a conversation, by the way. There is no lobby. So I'm on a stairwell. Oh, no. Her. So it's like I am uh, 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 a shitty version of Richard Gere and Julia Roberts on the fire escape. <laughs> so there's only like a power play involved because right. she's and, higher yeah, than she's you. She's like, mm, no shitter for you. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> and I can just, my my body is now like a Kim Zemeskel routine. <laughs> And it's just like my organs are just like, we don't have time for this. We're packing up and we're leaving. And, beep, right, beep. And she's like, I'm really sorry. I'm like, is there anywhere else? I, can, mm, I don't really know. I'm like, so you have a, a lodge with maybe 10 bathrooms in here and they're all full or they're all taken. I just can't. I'm like, I'm not kidding. I'm about to um, have an accident. Patty, right I would now. throw down my credit card and get a room for the and night. she said, I'm really sorry. And I looked at her again. I'm like, okay. And then I, now I'm walking as if my knees are rubber banded together. And I go to the car and Mark said, were you able to go to the bathroom? I said, no. <laughs> she didn't. I felt, I kind of felt like Joseph and Mary. No, there's no room. There's no room say, in the end. This is like I'm a pregnant. Bible parable. I have the Messiah and I cannot deliver here. <laughs> I'm like, no, there's she doesn't. There's no room at the and sticking I, in. And I am now, I am now sweating. Yeah. My eyes are like crack addict like saucers Saucy, and yeah. I'm looking around of the places that I can and cannot go to the, there is a general store that used to be open that is now closed there's the the gas station which is not open yet the oasis which is not open yet which is the restaurant why is this whole town like a movie set uh-huh there is the <laughs> coffee shop with the broken bathroom the full lodge with 18 bathrooms that none of them I can use and then there's a car wash and I'm like I'm going to have to go through the car wash. I'm going to, well, a self-serve, you know, with the with the gates open and whatever. I'm like, I, maybe I can just sh- shit in the middle of the car wash. I would walk and then just, through the car wash right. and shit and get the, the right. little, right. Ba, 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 ba. But yeah. I'm like, I don't know. That's a bad idea because everyone can see me shit in a corner. And I, like, I just, I did one of those like panoramic views in my head of like, someone can see me shitting over here. I'm like, I can. You so did then, a drone turn uh-huh, check. Right. So prior to <laughs> us leaving, there was a group of like five girls that were ordering coffee behind me. Uh-oh. Right? Foreshadowing. So I'm driving up the road. I'm like, maybe maybe there's something up here that I can use. And then I said, uh, I am not, and I, I know people use this a lot, but I was Maya Rudolph because I was like, I can't do, and I, I, I slowed the car down. I'm in the middle of a road, not, not far from this lodge that I just, but I didn't in have any In a bridal time. gown. Correct. Yes. Mark's like, where are you going? I'm like, I have to go. I have to go. I got, I got, He's I like, park the, the car car's literally still in moving. the middle of it, like, like a one way road. He's and like, I'm Patrick, like, no, and you I'm jump. Now going up an embankment, which is in kind of in the backyard of the stick it in. And then there's someone's house over there. I have now gone to the top. I have seconds before I now have brown colored jeans and I just Shh, lose myself. Hell? I have now sprayed manure all over the place. I, mean, I and I'm lose like, myself. <laughs> and I, I am an M to myself. And I, Marcus is like, oh my God. I said, look, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Except for, I don't have any toilet paper. I didn't think this one through. <clears throat> I'm, but I'm also <laughs> perched. I'm perched. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm perched on the top of this hill. I can see my car clearly. And then right behind, as I'm in mid squirt, no, the car of four the four <laughs> women that were behind us. <laughs> not only did they just not pass by and continue up the hill, they stopped and did like not a three point turn to turn around. They did like a twelve point turn, and then because Marcus was looking at me, so then they were looking at me, and I'm like. I don't know what to do. It's, it's the it's a nitro brew. I don't know. And then I look over and I'm like, I can see directly in the window of this house. So I'm basically in their backyard, shitting my brains out. And I'm like, I'll, I'll need some. I I need some toilet paper or something. And he's like, Well, obviously we don't have any. So he throws me um, 
Kleenex. Oh my God, from the car. Uh-huh. How far is the car from you? Like, how far oh, is Marcus from it's you? It's not far. Because this but is I, like a marriage ender. I jazz run, ran, jazz run? Jazz <laughs> ran up this embankment. I don't know how I got, but I went from, it's maybe like 100 yards or whatever. I don't know. Wow, that is the time to run a marathon. Yes, I like jazz, 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 drop and splat. Yes. Oh, I love that choreography. Yes. Yes. And then I I got back in the car and looked at it. I was like, can you fucking believe that the stick it in wouldn't let me to have... I just am fucking imploded in someone's backyard. And now can you imagine the person coming out like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> Not by my award-winning oh, tomato. Oh, shit. I don't want the strawberries now. <laughs> my hydrangeas. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. You can fertilize them. I don't know. Not if it's nitro brew. I... Uh, yeah, is it usable at that point? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. know. If my intestine comes out, they're like, I don't think that's. If this is one of those organic, weird, kind of crunchy granola, like Brooklyn North places, they're going to be all about it. Correct. First of all, let's go back to the stick it in. Okay. I will. I am a. (laughs) Well, frankly, (laughs) I'm sure that they're used to being like, we got another one, Mary. He's up on the top of Turd Mountain. We won't let him in. Oh. Well, oh, I. Oh, um, can we. Hi. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the mime class. Oh my god, I love mime class. You know, can I just tell you also, as an addendum to that, every hotel that does not allow a person in to use a bathroom should be Yelp reviewed out of existence. I Help concur. Help another human <clears throat> being. You know, unless I smell like a garbage can, and I look like. Uh, uh, I look like I'm going to do crack in your bathroom. I right. understand that. But even then, reserve the judgment. Right. I think you showed a few too many cards. I think you might have gotten in had you more been like, <laughs> so I just I just need to like just use your bathroom real casually. But instead, she saw the fear in your eyes, and she capitalized on that. Well, uh, I mean, I could have offered her money. I think I would have. I would have gotten a hotel room for the night at that point. But there's no desk for her to that ring me so in. so crazy. But also, you know, Julesy had a very similar experience, but this was in the beginning of the pandemic when people were f- afraid of everybody and no one was allowed in anywhere. Everyone and was we traveling were like, by bubble. Exactly. Yeah. So we decided, let's go to New Hampshire. Excellent. They seemed to be the loosest. Them and Florida were like, what pandemic? I don't so know. Who's in, in New- the freezer, Stephen? <laughs> what? Whatever. I don't know. He died. He's fine. So we're in New Hampshire. And poor Julesy had a very similar experience as you. He has a very delicate lower intestine. Did he have coffee? Um, I don't know. Julesy? No, Did I just think coffee? it was Tuesday. He okay. when when something comes a knocking, his bod starts rocking. Okay. And you gotta get him to a place real fast. He'll turn gray. Okay. I've seen him turn a whole Jennifer different color. Gray. He, he turns into Jennifer he turns Gray. In, like what pre nose f- job. Right. Naturally. Naturally. And um he it, it hit him. And there, there's a huge inn. Mm. This was like not stick it in, where mm. it was like eight fabulous rooms. This was like a proper hotel, like a Marriott, a Hilton, if you will. Uh, a yes, Hyatt. or more like a Double Tree, okay. Sans Cookies. Okay, a Red Roof Inn. Yes, a Red Roof Inn. <laughs> so he, we go in, and I was like, "Well, it's a hotel, you know. I know that it's COVID, and it's like March mm-hmm. of COVID. Yeah, so it's like newish. Yeah." And what's this COVID thing? What's this? Whatever. We're fine. I can lose a few pounds. We got a couple weekends off. <laughs> we go into the place and, and I was like, just just go and use the bathroom in this hotel. And he's like, oh, do you have a bathroom I can use? And this is behind when people are like behind plexiglass. And she was like, we can't let you use that bathroom. And it's like a regular lobby. So mm-hmm. he could have used a lobby bathroom. And it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. Always do that from now on. But he got so angry. That they would not let him in. And everything was knocking on the door. And he was like, ah. And he literally said this to the woman, I'm going to shit in your lobby. <laughs> he yelled it at her. And I was like, back off, ladies. This one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is mine. Who has two thumbs back off. asking for a divorce? <laughs> right here. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> it is a lovely day here in the podcast, so I think it's time. What do you say? <laughs> to use the bathroom. It's time. Is everybody shit themselves? Are we good? Do we bring a change of pants? You better, because it's time to say welcome to Dear Pod, the comedy advice podcast. I am your host, Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a good one. Uh, he always sounds like he's shitting himself. <laughs> I, I, I am Nicole Serger. I thought you were going to say Kim Zemesco. <laughs> Kim Zemesco. <laughs> and we're coming to you from the Maha Bar in the beautiful Pineapple Ranch. Can I hear it? You son of a bitch, you moved the cemetery, but you left the bodies, oh. didn't you? You son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones. You only moved the headstones. Why? Why? Why not follow us on social media? Uh. At Dear Pod Official on your Insta, your TikTok, your face. That's right, damn it. This week, like all weeks, we're bringing you the advice articles of Ann Landers and Dear Abby, and they're haunted because it's Halloween week here at the podcast. So do us a favor and haunt us online, all your socials, and check out our YouTube page if you're listening on Apple Podcasts right now. But if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, podcasts. Rate, review, subscribe. Ooh, it's scary. And, uh, oh, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, so we're on YouTube now. Correct. What are you waiting for? <clears throat> Look at all of our fabulous cameras. There we go. Just holding holding for screenshots. Holding for grace. Uh, holding for grace. I do a lot of this now. Now that I'm watching myself do this podcast, uh-huh. I'm doing a lot of, like, hair flipping. Okay. Patreon's back. Oh, patreon.com slash dearpod official. He's so, so pushy. So he's haunting me. Nasty. For a mere $5, we're making it very easy for you. Just an incoming Vianetta level. For $5 a month, we will give you extra special tidbits in your inbox every week. All kinds of fun things. So check out our Patreon page. Patreon.com slash dearpod official. Give us money and we will give you the money. Uh-huh. If you give us $5, we'll give you the world and a blowy. And we'll what? let you use our bath. We'll see. Only if you're in the neighborhood and can find us. <laughs> so, speaking of neighborhoods, our neighborhood is decked out for Halloween, everybody. It's our very special Halloween episode. And instead of wearing costumes, I've just decided to come as, um, what did you call me? The Linda Evangelista of A podcasting. Podcast. <laughs> I am the Linda Evangelista of podcasting. That's right, damn it. We're not dressing up. You know why? No. I'm doing it ahead of time. Because by the time this thing drops, you will see my new Halloween costume. I guess I can tell you what it's going to be. Okay. I'm going as Florence and the machine. Florence. Half Florence, half cyborg. Oh. You and get it? You get it? It's like a play. Florence Henderson. Yes, Florence Henderson and her machine. See, now that would be funny. It would be now. That's like a, now that's like a hat on a hat on a hat. Yes, but I mean, you already have the red hair, so it's obviously it's Florence. Obvi. And somebody said I looked like her, and I was like, Pfft. Florence Henderson? And I look at the pictures, oh, I wish I looked like Florence Henderson. Like classic, the old school mullet. Well, the old school is like that giant ball of hair, and then she did like the um, coconut with the hair with flip. With the flip. That's like, what I'm what? talking about. How did you get in the chair? And the guy's like, I'm going to cut off all of your hair, except for down here where it's just going to be, where you're just kind of constantly be like this, like I have something on my neck. But I'm, I'm like really light up here. It's also not like a wash and go hairstyle. Can you picture like that's something that you have to put so much effort into? Honestly, because you have to smooth out the bubble and yeah. then detangle the tail. Like you that can't you're just growing. like wash it and then go out and then like it starts to curl up here and then it coils <laughs> down here and then right. you're like and then you're white trash. That's some you're like you have to it's like a topiary on your head. Absolutely. You have I don't to know maintain how she did it. it. Like Kate Gosselin, same. Yes. You can't just like that requires ironing, effort, hours yes. of preparation. Like steaming, maybe like a hot comb. Yeah, but like a curler over here to sort of lift this side because then you're bringing this side down. That block of seagulls bullshit. What is funny about the Karen haircuts, the amount of effort that goes into like the stripes the and stripes. the asymmetrical and then yes. you have the nerve, the audacity to complain. To put <laughs> to put on pajama jeans, a jersey knit dot dot dot. An off-the-shoulder cut-off. Bl- so you have spent hours on the head. up here and then spent $45 on one eyelash yep. and have ignored uh, 
everything uh, from the neck down. Basically, from Illinois all the way down to Mexico. You've, Absolutely. you've ignored everything else. <laughs> because you don't have time for the rest of it. You well, put you hours thought about into it. your hair, and then you're like, oh, shit, what am I going to wear? Just throw on a juicy tracksuit. It's fine. They should be so lucky that it was a juicy tracksuit. This like, is like off brand. This is like Target pajama aisle, super flammable. You walk by, it ignites a spark on your own sweater, it's a little which itchy. is not, yeah. yes, a little itchy a lot for itchy. sure. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no time. There's no time, yeah. and there's no time to even maintain the body. Uh, you if know you're what? Putting that much effort into the hair. I'm going to restrain myself because as someone who's been a victim of. Um, the internet, I will just <laughs> reserve more comments. The internet is a garbage fire. Well. That being said, we need followers. Yes. And we love you, internet. So do do what you're going to. Yeah. Internet is going to internet. Correct. Bottom line. Yes, So it say will. what you want because we're all going to hell anyway. That's fantastic. We'll decorate and we'll meet you guys down there. Speaking of hell. Ah. Uh, Okay, Halloween, we all know, is my time of year. I live for Halloween. You know, Julesy, he's all about the Christmas. Me, I like things that are are deadly and bloody and that we celebrate the worst of ourselves okay. at Halloween. Okay. And so I'm going through, for the past month, uh, watching old Halloween movies. Like every day I'll try to watch something Halloween-y if I have time. Okay. And I rewatched it, not the original yet. I'm going back because classic Tim Curry. Okay. In it. Tim Curry never needed makeup to be scary. Correct. The second that he said a word, you're like, Ugh. Yeah. Oh, it's creepy. Yeah, bar of soap. Clean me out. Yes. Yeah. But I'm re-watching the remake of It. With John Ritter? No, no. The re-remake. The, the newer one. Like the, the one with um, Jessica Chastain. I did this because she's got the chin cleft. <laughs> she, does. she does. I'm no, like, you know, just... this girl. That girl with the red hair and this thing. Okay. And can we please have one horror movie where the basement is not a character? Isn't every horror movie, they walk down to the basement. I just want one basement that's like, oh, a finished rec room. No. Every movie, you go down and it's like, come on. Really? Like, this is actually, no. This is not 1890. It's like there's a rack down there. It's medieval. Everything is dark and scary. You're like, why? Like Freddy Krueger, the the, uh, the incinerator in the basement was clearly in some uh, an abandoned factory because that cannot possibly be <laughs> up to code in a house in that decade. Because <laughs> that was doesn't the 80s, any, right? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So you're telling me that this man who was thrown into a, a fireplace or a Whatever fireplace, <laughs> but, uh, uh, an incinerator <laughs> in someone's basement has not been updated since since like seventeen hundred, and this is right. heating your whole house right. in nineteen eighty six. Correct. Get up to code, or you're going to burn the whole neighborhood down. Right, and then you never left the neighborhood. And so also, in- aren't you doing your laundry down there? Because that's where everybody puts the washer and dryer. Correct. So now you're doing laundry where you've murdered somebody. Feet away from this incinerator. No, thank you. No, I said no thank you. No thank you. But I'm like, I just want one horror movie where they walk down and they're like, oh, oh, it's- It's a she It's shed. a rec room. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a man cave. <laughs> it's a man cave. Oh. Oh, well, there's nothing scary about this. Oh, I like this. Oh. This huh. is good. Is that a 60-inch TV? Or if you go downstairs and it's actually a walk out to your yard. You're like, oh. Where it's not like surrounded by cinder block. Yeah. And there's only one light. I also don't understand. This is your basement. You own this property. Yes. You have one light that yeah. illuminates <laughs> the entire footprint of your home. One. Yeah. You can and, invest in something. And it's and also is- fucking filthy. They have not mopped, uh, wet vacked, uh, vacuumed since they owned the home. Uh-huh. And everything they pull off a shelf is like, every girl's like, <laughs> and it's like asbestos everywhere. Yes. It's just like a it's layer like, of sludge. Yeah, it's like, you fucking live here. This is your house. Clean it. You did it. Put some shelves up. Put some lights up. How about some drywall? I don't know. You fucking own this place. A lamp. My kingdom for a lamp. What is this? Like like natural Free history HGTV. museum? Exactly. Why does everything look like we're keeping artifacts down there? But they're all like falling apart. They open up like they open up a book and the book falls apart. And they take, it's like... <laughs> 
why are you keep why are you keeping shit that's gonna set your house on fire? It's basically, oh, I have a room full of kindling. Yay! How many toys do you need from the eighteen hundreds? <laughs> yeah, and they pull something off the shelf and fifteen things come up. Learn how to put shit on a shelf. Also, how who about that? moved before that left all this stuff behind? Was it not in your closing that it's like, hey, can you clean out the basement before I move in? <laughs> As a new homeowner, you should appreciate this. <laughs> yeah, fuck. If this was your house, if the house in it was your house, you'd be like, absolutely not. I'm not buying this right now. That's not up to code. Get rid of the incinerator. We're taking 10000 off the asking price. This is bullshit. <laughs> and can you please remove the body? <laughs> Actually, keep the body. It's kind of good. Well, if I closed in October, then probably I'd say, I, I'll keep, <laughs> keep it. it. Just put it on the front yard. And <laughs> yeah, put we'll it on the it bed. Put it on a bench with a bucket of candy. <laughs> exactly. Corn. It's some hay. Sure. We'll make it look like decor. Yeah. Well, kids, it's Halloween here. So, our theme this week is trick or treat. We have found articles from Ann Landers and Dear Abby that have either the word trick or treat in it. They have nothing to do with Halloween. Mine has nothing to do with Halloween. It's just about tricking and treating. Would you like to start us off, Patois? Um, okay. Ooh, listen <clears throat> to the creaky sound of my chair. Yeah. It's haunted. I think this is one I'm going to go with, so I'm just going to go with it. Okay. This is from the Press and Sun Bulletin, Binghamton, New York, Monday, October 17th, 1960. Binghamton. Ooh. Dear Abby, my sister is going to a Halloween party and she is dreaming up a costume. What? He wants to... <laughs> <laughs> Wait. My sister's Those are going words, to... Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Confirmed. Uh, going to a Halloween party, and she's dreaming up a costume. He wants to go as a Greek goddess or an oriental high priestess. Yes, Can there's we still a spelling say that? error. There's a spelling error. She. I'm she. But unless it's, you know, this before. is 19th, before the pronoun came. Okay. I like this. He wants to go... Uh, as a Greek goddess or an Oriental high priestess, I told her I didn't think it was right to go dressed up as one of these. I asked her how she would like it if she were in a foreign country and one of the kids came dressed up like a Catholic priest or a Baptist minister. She said she never thought of it that way. My mother said to stop arguing and to write to you. Signed, older sister, not other sister with Juliet Lewis. Oh, very different. Yes. Dear sister, sister. There is nothing disrespectful about masquerading as a Greek goddess or an Oriental high priestess. You are exceptionally kind to consider the possibility of sacrilege. Now, I bring this up partially because it's the holiday season. It is. And second, um, there is nothing wrong going as an Oriental high priestess. I'm sorry, but yes, <laughs> there is something wrong with that. Well, First of all, it's the wording. It's the word Oriental. Let's all bear in mind this was written before the woke agenda. 1960. It was a good time to say that word. Um, I actually don't know if that was a good time to say the word. I think not a good time, but it was different. Uh I feel like I'm walking on a minefield right now. The internet is going to internet. Well, we did allow, like they did allow Mickey Rooney to dress up as an Asian man. This is true. Correct. Different time, and I mean, not too long ago, Prince Harry was a Nazi for Halloween because everybody loves a casual swastika. I don't know who whoever puts that type of costume on. Like, I think this is fine. Yeah. It's and a- you and but not only that, it's not like Prince Harry got dressed in a vacuum. Like, he walked through the hall. That's probably uh, actually an original, actual uniform. It's probably Adolf Hitler's, the- <laughs> like, found uniform. But the thing is, it's not like he got, like, dressed in his dorm room and then walked out and was like, this is great. He walked through thousands of miles of Buckingham Palace oh, to yes. leave, to get into his chariot, to then get into whatever. Chariot. And everyone's like... <laughs> Well done. Well played. You look just like a Nazi. It's amazing how on Have a good that time. Is. Harry, please don't get anything on it. It belongs to the British Museum. Have we'll a need wonderful it at the end anti-Semitic of the night. Halloween, Harry. <laughs> hip, hip, hi, ho, cheerio. <laughs> look at you go. <laughs> Somebody go get the carriage, will you? <laughs> I, I, it's, it's also like, if that was an actual costume, which I do think he just like, he did have access to the entire canon of Correct. the British Museum. He could have Nick gone Cannon. as anything. He could have gone as Nick Cannon. I would have loved Actually, to go. Actually, he could not have gone as Nick 50 babies Cannon. just attached to him. See, there you go. Oh, see? Yeah, but I'm yeah. surprised he didn't do that. Because didn't he do blackface on another 
costume? I think he did. Something was problematic beyond that. Again, I don't understand people's mentality when they start the process. Of costuming. And they're they're like, I think this is a great idea. Yeah, it's never going to come back to bite me in the ass. When as... uh, Crazy Eyes, is that from... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orson? That's what caused... I'm, that's what I'm thinking of. I've never watched the show, but... Because somebody... Every year, somebody puts together on the internet, like, 50 of the most offensive costumes right. that celebrities have ever worn. So they can never live it down. And you know what's trending right now? P. Diddy costumes are selling like hotcakes. Which, I... ironically, is his nickname in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your hotcakes. <laughs> hey, hey open hot cakes. up. Guess what? Everybody's you on the outside. Also, You're hot is- cakes and I'm sausage. <laughs> Let's connect. <laughs> we Guess- go together like a McDonald's plate, baby. <laughs> It's time Isn't it for just breakfast. a birthday suit? Isn't that what's a P Diddy costume? You just walk in naked, everybody's scared, totally oiled up. Do you remember when P Diddy was on Broadway for uh was it Raisin in the Sun or something? What? No, yes. he was not. Yeah. What? Watch yeah. McDonald's? Yeah. Excuse like the cast me? around him, you're like, what? Wait a minute. I think it was like Audra McDonald, McDonald and uh, uh, Felicia Rashad. You're absolutely right. Do you and think Felicia Rashad at any point was like, puff? She's like, I've seen a sexual predator once before, and now <laughs> here it is again. <laughs> what is it about me <laughs> and sexual predators? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? What is happening? I get one job without somebody who hasn't roofied people. But do you remember the story that he wanted to feel like the everyman, so he had his assistant go out and buy Hanes so he could feel like the itchiness and scratch? It's like, first of all, a lot of people wear Hanes, asshole. <laughs> I don't. I'm You're just, not just, the everyman. I'm not, I'm not the, but it's just the, the like... The audacity of like these like wealthy celebrities like I just want to feel like everybody. Like, what so do I'm the just poor wear, people wear? Yeah, yeah. So just like maybe like two carat diamonds. I'm just gonna wear two carats. <laughs> yeah, is to that feel okay? what it's like to be garbage yeah. oh, okay. like you guys. <laughs> I want to be trash. So you look like garbage and you talk like garbage. I want to be garbage just like you. And can I like, get? Can I get blink, access blink, to blink. your closet? <laughs> wait, wait. You blink, look like blink. shit. Can I go to your house and can try I borrow and that outfit? <laughs> Wow, that looks like that looks like hot trash. Oh Can I borrow God. it? Wait, why do you know the backstory of this? I don't. I've never heard this why? happening. Oh, because this isn't filled with smarts. This is filled with garbage, oh. trash, useless knowledge, pop culture irrelevance. It's perfect um, for podcasting. Yes, w- maybe one season shows, one hit wonders. Uh huh. Um, you things keep that, doing this, and you're like yamakas. Uh, no, I'm like Hannibal, like when they cut Ray Liotta's <gasps> head open and yeah. ate his own brain. That's basically what I'm doing. My friend was in that scene with him. That's great. I've never been so excited to know somebody. I was like, what was he eating? His brain. Yeah, but like, no, what was li- he eating? Is it- no, they literally cut open <laughs> Ray Liotta's head. He's, he's a they- method actor, and he's yeah. like, if I'm going to eat something in this, it's going to be real brain. It's going to be Ray Liotta's brain. I'm surprised I don't actually see this happen more often on my block. Because the amount of people that I see, I'm like, I don't know how they're functioning. Well, this is the best thing about Halloween. is In your neighborhood, you never know if it's Halloween because you like to play the game. Zombies or crack addicts. Correct. And it's all happening on your street all the time. Well, Everybody's that's... moving really slow or really fast. Yeah. So <laughs> and they're I'm all like, different zombies. How, how, like, what kind of coffee did I have that all these people are going so slow? I'm, I'm like racing. Yeah. And it's like that slow running montage. But everyone's like... Yeah. Walking really slow. But it's also like in your neighborhood, there's the Walking Dead zombies and the 28 Days Later zombies. So it's Correct. like a combination zombie. Yes. And then there's Comic-Con. So now it's like, oh, I, I wow. just, I'm just going to stay in my house. I, I'm just, you know what? I'm going to go up to Berryville. I'm going to shit in the woods. <laughs> it's going to be a lovely time. I'm going to see if shit rolls downhill to the stick it in. And I'm that's the best in, karmic I'm retribution. Shit in public and then wait for a uh, sedan filled <laughs> With 30-year-old women with their iced lattes stop and do a seven-point turn and look directly at me as if they're looking at deer eating on the side In of the road. In my mind, it's like the 80s when they drive by, and I just picture all the girls like sticking out of the windows being yeah. like, oh, hey, have a nice job. With like day glow colors and be like, yeah, like huge, like colorful earrings. And- <laughs> Like there's no reason for them to be hanging out of the, the door like 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 dogs. No reason at all. Yeah, <laughs> but they're all yeah. just <laughs> it's like on like a, a roller coaster. It's like a school bus full of football <laughs> players. <laughs> why are they always hanging out the windows? Aren't in those there seatbelts? No, no wonder why there was 80s. such a problem. <laughs> That's called thinning the herd. All right, I have a trick or treat article for you. Would you like it? Always. 
Who wouldn't? <laughs> okay. Mine has nothing to do with Halloween. Get ready. This comes from the Oshkosh Northwestern. Raleigh, North Carolina. Wait, what? It's called the Oshkosh? The Oshkosh. And it's not Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oshkosh, Oshkosh Wisconsin. My bad, I everybody. Say. I was re- <laughs> This um, is from the Miami Herald, Port Washington, <laughs> New York. Wait, what? That was a hard lift that I took. Oh, my God. What is in this coffee? I don't feel right, but it's nitro. Uh, yes, it is Oshkosh, Wisconsin, everybody. That is a confirmation. Thank you for knowing geography. Mm, mm. See, not just a hat rack. You've got more information in there than I do. Okay. I don't have any math in here. Uh, this is Monday, November 9th, 1964. Belief in needle trick rates her kind of hick. Okay. It makes no sense. Okay. But there's a needle trick involved. Dear Ann Landers, we have two sons. For almost three years, my husband and I have wanted another child, but we've had no luck. About a month ago, my sister said she'd like to try the needle trick on me to determine whether or not to have more children. She took a threaded needle and rubbed it across my middle finger. (laughs) Then she dangled the threaded needle over the top of my hand, steadying it between her thumb and index finger. And then she inserted it gently in me. No, (laughs) until, oh, now I lost my place, Uh, until it stood perfectly still. If the needle remained still, it meant I would not have any more children. If it moved back and forth, it meant a boy. If it moved in circles, it meant a girl. Of course, circles. We tried it three times. Twice the needle moved back and forth, meaning I had two boys, which was right. The third time it stood still, indicating I would not have any more children. <laughs> Can you imagine if you did that needle trick on me? It would be like, oh, it just, it just right goes straight room. up out of your hand. <laughs> right into somebody's <laughs> eye. <laughs> oh, what did I do? This is the worst They're trick just jogging. Ever. This is the best day. Oh, my, oh my God. And then, they, they, and then they get hit by a school bus. Full of girls. <laughs> full of girls. <laughs> and, and, football, and a football team. <laughs> <laughs> and then she lands in a pile of someone's shit <laughs> from having that too much coffee. It's a turducken of comedy, baby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. I know this sounds nutty, <laughs> but the accuracy of these no. tests. No. I know. The accuracy of these tests is amazing. How do you explain it? Signed DL. Down low. <laughs> On the DL. Dear DL, I won't try. But this I can tell you. If you want another child, just believe in the needle trick. Wait, right? Am I right? I feel like I'm having a stroke. Did she just say, just believe in the needle trick? She did. Give away your baby buggy, your crib, the stroller, and the diaper pail. Accept the fact that you will not have any more children. Chances are within a year, you'll be pregnant. The frequency with which this has happened is more amazing than the needle trick. Okay, see, um... I know I read this article before I read this article, uh-huh. but I feel like I just read this article for the first time. So she was kind of, she's like, go ahead, throw all your shit away. Yeah. You're probably going to get pregnant after you do that. Yes, which I, <clears throat> it's, there is truth to that. Don't you feel like when you give up wanting something, you're like, oh shit, like a bathroom. No, that did not. We should have done the needle trick on you that day. <laughs> is it going to find a bathroom? This is a really brown needle. <laughs> <laughs> Kills the woman at the stick. Stick it in my eye! There's no bathroom. All of a sudden, I just heard someone falling down a flight of stairs because the needle <laughs> flew out. And... <laughs> Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! You should have gave me the toilet! You only moved the head stuff! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, my God. Now, I like this kind of witchcraftery. I'm very, you know. And you are also into this sort of, like, magical thinking. Put your finger away. (laughs) Don't you point that. Look at this Crypt Keeper hand I have. No. Come on. That's a Halloween hand right there. Look at that. That's not right. I, that shit's not right. It's like you were trying to, like, escape, like, an attacker or, like, a coffin. With my hands? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have had the hands of an 85-year-old woman who's been dead for 10 years since I was, like, a child. Did you have fun with the garbage disposal one time, and that's why that happened? <laughs> like every time I go for a manicure, they're like, no! They're like, oh! Are you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Anybody who is not watching us on YouTube and just putting us at your ear holes right now, go to YouTube and see that act out because that was stellar. 
<laughs> Stellar Deb. We don't know, have enough soap for her hand. I don't know what happened. I think we're going to have to call in a couple other There's people. That, yeah, I don't know their hands. I can't do that. Did you see her walk in with those things? I can't make it look better, Jane. Uh, she's the Linda Evangelist of podcast, but she's got Crib Keeper. That's I don't why know. she's podcasting, it's because it's their, audio. It's her death becomes her hands. I don't know what's wrong. She should we'll just get a couple oven mitts and put them on uh, You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for some grace. I'm leaving. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> You know what? I've always wanted to become an accountant, and I feel like this is my moment. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out the back door. Good luck with that old thing. I know this has nothing to do with the needle trick, but God damn it, it's funny. I know I just left, but I left my purse and my coat in the back, so I know I made this big scene. <laughs> Take that was so close to being spat out. That is something that I would was, totally do. I'm like, this place is garbage. I fucking quit. And I leave. And then I'm like, hey, my bad. I, I left my backpack and my jean jacket in the corner. So you guys have a good weekend. And I'm, I still quit. Me again. My glasses were on my laptop. I, I'm, I'm leaving the laptop. I'm going to take my glasses. I, anyway, I quit. Still, I'm leaving. I would do the first. Adios. The Best of luck. Out. Like, and you can go fuck yourself, and you can fuck yourself, because I don't need this job. <laughs> oh, you're. Oh, okay. Fuck off. Okay, okay. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. Piss off, everybody. <laughs> I actually, I. I really have to go to the bathroom, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I and like the whisper, back. Like, hey, um, can you just go back and left my laptop on the? Why do people do this? Even like, because it happens in a workplace. Like, like you'll start talking to someone, and like, yeah, I don't know. The party's really great. But do you want to know what happened? Like, there's no one around here, or you're at a train station. I'm like, well, now I fucking can't hear you at all because oh. there's a train coming in your whisper tone. It's instinct. I do it all the time. I just don't want anyone do to hear me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys! I'm hot as balls today. Holy Halloween! It's hot as hell in here. All right, everybody. You know what it's time for? You know what scares me? Instagram. Okay. It's time, time for, for Instagram mail. mail. Instagram mail. This is really We're reading it. Right, Instagram I mail. Instagram. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I was going to answer a question, but. Or don't slide into our DMs. Just slide into our DMs and come back. Good luck, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Make him work for his soup, you know? All right, everybody. We have an Instagram mail question for you this week. You can write to us on Instagram. Slide into our DMs at Dear Pod Official or email us old school style. Email us DearPodOfficial at gmail.com. DearPodOfficial, gmail.com. You know how to get in touch with us. Put us on YouTube. Put a little comment under YouTube. No. Only if it's nice. <laughs> we don't like to hear bad things about ourselves. It's so. very sweet, everyone. This is very your your sweet comments about um my masculinity. Very sweet. Very but sweet. But you can keep those to yourself. <laughs> your comments about my intellect and my lack of boobs and my man yeah. hands. It's just but You know what? By the time you've written that, I've already done that to myself about yeah. forty eight years ago. So that's forty eight years of my own. Trolling. There's nothing you so. could do to me that I haven't done to myself. Correct. Right. <laughs> I've already whoosh, whoosh, myself on the cross. I so. was a troll before trolls yeah. existed. Good luck, before everyone. Or even the, tr- the troll dolls yeah. existed. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Instagram mail question this week. Patty, you want to read it to the good sure, people? Sure. It's on my phone. Oh, oh. Dear Pod, every year my family goes all out at Halloween. This year's theme was zombie. We put all we put out all sorts of zombies, including baby zombies. They were on sale. We got a six-pack of them. We came home to a note in our in our door saying baby zombies were offensive and took things too far. The mystery writer suggested we remove them immediately. <laughs> it's it's Halloween. Why are people so damn sensitive? My wife's thing my wife thinks we should just remove them to avoid problems with their neighbors. I say, no way. If we give in on this. What will we give in on next? What do you think? Baby zombies? Yeah or nay? Signed? Stop being a Halloweenie. What? What are you laughing at? I'm still laughing. 
<laughs> what quitting? <laughs> you know, something just hits you between the eyes again. <laughs> About quitting and then and then going back. Like, I really... It's the girls hanging out. <laughs> Stupid, I right? <laughs> It's basically if you replicated the, the the girl in fried green tomatoes, she's like, face it, ladies, yeah. we're younger and smarter. And then I she know. and then Kathy Bates slams her in a car. Face it, girls, I'm older and I have more insurance. It's that girl. She's got the crimped hair. What are you doing? The oversized bum equipment shirt and the jelly bands. The jelly. I'm sorry. It just right in the middle of you reading. I just started to picture those girls again, and I can't. I, Julie, I literally need a Kleenex. I am laughing so hard. And the image. I thought it was baby zombies. I'm like, wow, I didn't really. <laughs> it's off topic. Okay. It's going back, but I just can't stop laughing at that visual. Oh God, it's a good time to be alive, everybody, or be a undead. A baby zombie. Mm-hmm. Let me know if you'd like me to give you the uh, answer. Yes, I would. Let me just <laughs> off screen. I'm so God, sorry just that a lovely time so we're sorry, having here. Baby <laughs> zombies really gotcha. Did I mess up my Linda Evangelista face? No, no, no. Okay, my makeup is down to my ass. Now I look like That's cr- this is good for Halloween. Okay, what's your answer? <laughs> now Tammy? you're now you're now you're Britney Spears when she does her own makeup. <laughs> I look fantastic. It's like two charcoal oh briquettes. God, you haven't slept in days. No, I just got up. I feel fine. I mean, I never washed my face for about a week, but I'm fine. I did my own hair upside down on a trampoline. I put it in High my own tracks. High humidity. I put oh. in my own tracks. <laughs> Why isn't everybody watching us? <laughs> I'm just going to dance here in this weird room that I own with knives. I know. There's so much red Hello, Who wants chicken tenders? We're going through the drive-thru. Yeah, I'm love, worth $55 billion. I love terracotta flooring <laughs> and wrought iron and furniture. Who <laughs> like- <laughs> I, I haven't updated this house since 1992, but anyway, anyway. I like a cornice on a cornice on a cornice. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. All right, Who doesn't like overstuffed furniture? I certainly do. Love it all, so I bought it all. I got it all from the Real Housewives when they all got had to go to prison. I got their all of I their said, furniture. I said, give me season one of Designing Women's Furniture. Give and me here all of is, the y'all. pillows with all of the trim and fringe. All of them. I want the thickest material. I also want the couch from Love Connection. So here it is. <laughs> Including that man, Chuck Woolery, two and two. He sits here all day. He does my eye makeup with me. I don't care if you have to defrost him. Put him here. I don't care. Oh, God, I hate you so much today. So maybe we'll get back to this question. (laughs) Anyway, what's your answer? I forgot. I forgot, too. I don't know where we are. It's just so hot. I just need to use the bath. Dear Weenie, first of all, children are terrifying. Yeah. Small creatures that are supposed to be sweet and innocent, unassuming even, that's what's frightening. That's why they make movies about them. Megan, Annabelle, Pet Cemetery, The Omen, Chucky, Orphan, Children of the Corn series, The Bad Seed, The Exorcist, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Kid Selling Chocolate on the Subway on my way here, my niece, the list goes on. So zombie babies should scare the shit out of you. That's part of the fun of Halloween. I say you head back to the store for another six pack of zombie babies. In fact, buy them all, clear the shelves. Next, start adding to the, la- the zombie landscape little by little, eventually building to like one of those scenes from World War Z with Brad Pitt where all the zombies are piled on top of one another. Even better, if you could figure out a way to have them baby zombies spit fake blood at passerby, that would be great. By the time Halloween rolls around, you'll have your neighborhood convinced someone is after him or her or that she's just losing her mind. Hopefully both. So don't let Dick and Jane Smith dictate your Halloween fun. It's not like you staged a zombie version of the January 6th insurrection on your lawn. Am I right? It's Halloween! (laughs) People are dressed up like pregnant nuns, slutty veterinarians, garbage patch kids, eggplants and peaches, Mona from Who's the Boss, and straight people from Connecticut. Everyone carves out their own fun, so don't sweat it. Like Samantha once said, if I worried what every bitch in New York was saying about me, I'd never leave the house. (gasps) Happy halloween -er. Oh, truer words. It scares me how much we write the exact same goddamn thing. Down to sometimes the exact phrase. And, or 
Ann, I mean. So here's what Ann has okay. to say. <laughs> so right. just you wait. Dear Weenie, <laughs> you sound like my kind of people. The only thing I love more than Halloween is offending my neighbors. Your commitment to a themed lawn staging is something to be commended. You go all in. That's something to be celebrated, not tamped down. I bet you even hand out full-size, not fun-size candy bars, you sexy son of a bitch. (laughs) Fun-size my ass. Unless you're Karen Carpenter, there's nothing fun about less food. You know what I mean? You know what's fun? A Snickers the size of my coffee table. But I digress. I'm going to get so much hate. In this era of political overcorrection and fear of cancellation, the human race has taken the fun out of everything. Something as benign as a six-pack of zombie babies can be misinterpreted as your passive-aggressive commentary on your hate for the neighbor children and their chronic trampolining all hours of the day. The only thing people love more than free candy is complaining. If I were you, I would double down, buy another six-pack of zombie babies, and stage them down your driveway and out to the street with a sign that says, We're coming for you, Gladys Kravitz. (laughs) If this mystery writer was so genuinely hurt by your tableau, they would have the undead balls to sign that paper. (laughs) So until they double up, you double down. Get thee to Spirit Halloween, or the Senate, and buy up all the undead you can find. Grab a few eyeballs and fingers for me while you're there. Good luck, you offensive son of a bitch. And happy trolling. And... <laughs> Are you still picturing the girls out the window? <laughs> no, I'm not picturing Karen Carpenter at Halloween. Oh, no. <laughs> Sav- sadly. Savage. Savage, ladies and gents. Wow. You know what's more fun than fun sized candy bars? Fun sized booze. It is time. A toilet in Berryville, if you can <laughs> find it. Are you- when you said World War Z and that hill of zombie people, I hope you shit on the hill of zombie people. I'm telling you, every time I've gone to this, I don't know. There's, there's, I've gone to every diner in this town. Each diner must have the same brand of coffee because. What I it can't is, wait to visit you. It, I want this experience. Well, I'll, I'll only be in the bathroom. <laughs> there is, there is uh, a, um, a uh, 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 diner in town. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I cannot remember the name correctly. Uh-oh. Partially because it, where my my parents have a summer house, there's a bar down the street called um, Hogan's Goat. Right? Oh, it's a, that's specific. It's it's a no frills old style sign. Okay. In the front that says Hogan's Goat underneath it. You know, old style. It's not like you're going. You're not going in for like you know the ladies a martini. Lunch. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like. The ladies are we like, have I'll have another hot it. dog. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know these guys. Yeah. Uh, right. So it's a beautiful. They have bags of chips behind right. the. Beautiful summer day. And then the bar is filled with smoke and you're inside a dark bar. Right. I know exactly what Hogan's you're talking Goat. about. Hogan's uh, Goat. For some reason, the restaurant in Berryville. <laughs> is Hogan's okay. Goat? No. because Serves I, I have Hogan's to, have Goat? To, no. It only serves goat. <laughs> It's called um, <laughs> it, it's called the hungry goat. Uh-huh. <laughs> so there's two. My brain is conflicted oh. in how this is processing because I can't remember the wording. And then, uh, so I'll say either the hungry throat <laughs> or Hogan's throat or that's actually a gay bar in town, <laughs> right? Okay. So every time I, see, you know, Marcus and I are like, well, let's go get breakfast. Where do you want to go? I said, let's go to the Hungry Throat. <laughs> and he's really like, that's not, this? that's really? not the name of the place. I'm like, well, what's the name of it? It's called, it's called the Hungry Goat. I'm like, right, right, Hogan's Throat. And he's like, that is not every time because I can't remember because I've either made fun of it or I remember the childhood thing down the street. So somewhere lost is the real name. So I don't so really remember. So now it's created that like break in your brain. Correct. Where it will never allow you to yeah. learn it so properly. So I'm like, let's go to the Hogan's Throat or the Hungry Throat. He's like, Hogan's Goat. That's what I said, Hungry Throat. <laughs> yeah. And you that's just right. Get, right. I'm here get for the Hungry boat. Throat. Oh, that's 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 Kyle in the corner in the bathroom. That's the Hungry Throat. Hey, I'm the Hungry Throat. <laughs> I'm Kyle, the Hungry Throat. It's always Kyle. <laughs> He makes a second guest appearance. Oh, I can't think of a better transition to say, my throat is hungry for booze, everybody. So it's time for 
Specialty cocktail, specialty throat. Come You're to the hungry goat. Hit it. Hogan's throat. Hogan's throat is more dangerous. It's a guy. It's Hulk Hogan, and it's his throat, and it's been punched or it's in. Or, or it's Hogan's heroes. Hogan's I don't know. Maybe heroes I... throats. Hogan's heroes would be a good sub sandwich place, though. Oh, How yeah. come nobody's made that restaurant? I'm Be- just saying. Because it's 2024. No one knows <laughs> the, the, the TV Kira. show. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I can't think of a better way to wrap up this fabulous Halloween episode than with a bucket of booze. This week's specialty, this week's specialty cocktail is... The bloody martini. That's, that's noise, right, everybody. That's the noise I made after I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's just a box of rocks coming out of your lower intestine. Char- oh. Charlie Brown's <laughs> trick or treat oh back. God, it's so fu- <laughs> wah, 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 wah. The bloody martini, everybody. That's right. Trick or treat. Smell his feet. Give James Jules Ferris something good to drink. For this, you will need one half ounce of extra dry vermouth, two and a half ounces of London dry gin, two ounces of pomegranate juice. Okay. For the garnish, mash four blackberries through a strainer, and it's juice in a bowl. So this is my scary voice. Stir in one teaspoon of icing sugar until dissolved. What? Drizzle around the rim of a martini You got me. Yeah, Hogan's throat. Who's (laughs) got (laughs) a... Just dribble around the rim. (laughs) Dribble around the rim with your disgusting throat. In a cocktail shaker, add vermouth, gin, and palm juice. Add ice and shake. Strain into a bloody drizzled martini glass and garnish with blackberries and a mint sprig. Here are Jules' tasting notes, everybody. Get excited. Choosing the right Halloween costume is stressful enough. So, let's make your Fright Night cocktail selection as easy as telling those trick-or-treaters who come to your door with no costume to get the hell off your property and don't come back until you make an effort. By the time you hand out your last almond joy to the 23rd Taylor Swift who comes to your door, you don't want to waste any time getting your evening in motion. Everyone loves a good martini, but it's not every day you enjoy one that looks as if it came straight from your local blood bank. As a matter of fact, go buy yourself a sleeve of plastic martini glasses, batch up a bunch of these delicious, gory sippables, and hand them out to the parents accompanying their little demons. You will be the hero of Halloween and the most protected person in your neighborhood. Happy Halloween, everybody! That's right, it's time for the bloody martini! Can you oh, taking a trick-or-treater like your Bella Caroli? <laughs> <laughs> like criticizing? What? Like, uh... what are you wearing? That is ridiculous. Come, Come back, back until you do the triple sal cow again in my mouth. You lo- right. Come back when you're Hogan's throat. <laughs> Why is this guy from, I think he's just, I don't know if it's Transylvania. I don't know if it's like Eastern Remember, Europe. <gasps> this oh looks my. nothing like the picture. Okay. Oh, thank God. Well, I'm glad you rehearsed this it ahead of time. Delicious. And that you put a liquid item on my laptop. <laughs> I'm going to move that. I was the, the prospect of having to buy another laptop <laughs> is more terrifying to me than anything I could read to you today. That's right, everybody. It's the Bloody Martini. <gasps> Let's cheers to a fabulous Halloween episode, everybody. Trick and treat my face. Here's to Hogan's throat. What is sliding down the rim again? Mm, what is it's um a blackberry drizzle? Is that what you said? Yeah. With oh, little... it's like sugar. So he's macerated blackberries and sugar. He made some sort of rim. Uh, <laughs> here's here's for all. I just need to get some thirst traps. That is fucking vile. The drink or the the tongue? The tongue. My Hogan's you. throat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know what this drink makes me want to do? <laughs> if you're not watching on YouTube, then you're missing all the fun here today. It's I am basically you. all the extras and girls just want to have fun. <laughs> it would be Helen Hunt if she were a good time, and she's never been. It is funny that like Helen Hunt, who's so like dour and intense, was in Girls Just Want to Have Fun. What was I? <laughs> just like. <laughs> The needle trick right in the eye. Just like your, ah. your cocktail, right? 
you ever sit across from someone and pretend that they did not just like shoot shrimp scampi across the table and, <laughs> and land it's on like your face? Sliding down yeah, your like, cheek. No, go on. Tell me about your mom again. <laughs> it goes all the way down. Hit your sweater onto your jeans. Just like the trail. I, I don't think. I think even grease. if I was with a stranger and like having a meeting and I spat by accident, you can't. This episode of Deer Pod is mixed and edited by Jim Ferris and is a property of Pineapple Ranch Productions. Beep.